Okay. Um, Tony, 63 EFC. And I watched a couple of his... Uh, I watched a couple of his videos, and it's uh, kind of blogging, and he's, he's got a very pleasant demeanor. Uh, uh, English accent. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to guess what part of England he's from, but um, I watched his little uh, reminiscence of uh, meeting uh, Joe Strummer of The Clash, and, um, and then I watched his uh, um, Modern Day Slavery and Cheap Food, which was pretty good. A lot of us don't think about uh, where our food comes from and the people that, that do the work to bring it to us. And, uh, you know, it touches on immigration and cheap labor and the whole, that whole, that whole thing. So, um, I'll be watching more of your videos. Uh, Tony, his name is Tony, says he's interested in film, uh, in music, film, left of center politics. All right, my good man. And issues such as poverty, reduction, and destigmatization, mental health. So, um, I'm guess. oh, he's read Bill Bryson travel books. I've read, I've read one Bill Bryson book, uh, Notes from a Small Island, I think. It's about the UK. Really. I mean, I never thought I'd enjoy a travel book. I really, really enjoyed that book by Bill Bryson. And, um... <laughs> so, I'll have to come back and look at more of his videos. But, um... Oh, and he's got Bad Day at Blackrock. Oh, that's a classic movie with Spencer Tracy. About It's about the uh, aftermath of World War II. Spencer Tracy plays a one-armed man that's going out to right the wrong. I mean, I haven't seen it since I was a little kid, but, but uh, a Japanese man was uh, uh, interred uh, during the war and his property was taken away. And I think when he returned, he was killed or something. But it has to do with that, the aftermath of World War II and dealing with uh, what happened to the uh, Japanese Americans during that period. It's a great movie. Um, and the de destigmatization mental health, and I think what he means by is to destigmatize those of us that suffer from mental illness, which, um, which I would like to see. There's too many, uh, too many people throwing out words like schizo and bipolar as insults and not really understanding what it means. All right, so cheers to you. Cheers to you, Tony. Any excuse to drink. I'm sorry if I seem a little flat tonight. I don't know. I thought I was all ready for Fez night. It'll pick up, believe me. It'll, it'll get better real soon. <laughs> oh, oh, how I suffer so. Oh, I tell you. Okay, so let's see. Oh, let me back up again. Did I skip somebody? Um, okay, there's, there's uh, Tony, 63 EFC. Pop Art Productions. Okay, this is the, uh, the reemergence of the... Uh, should I say who you once were? I think everybody will guess that knows what's going on. But Pop Art Productions, he's the one that featured a uh, new video that just came out. It's had a uh, pretty big success here for being out for a short period. It's gotten 462 views. It's called The uh, Network of Weasels. And it's a scathing, scathing satire on the uh, network of evil and uh and boy i took i feel i took the brunt of it on this one <laughs> and i have to show i'm a good sport and laugh laugh along but the uh i wrote you i wrote your private message replied to you and said uh you sure know how to mine that homo vein don't you <laughs> you go for all it's worth just a suggestion. May we try next time you satirize me? Let's not go. Let let's not go that man on man route. Okay. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. All right. His name is Popeye. Likes to be called Pops. And uh, <laughs> oh, he works for KGB Toys, KBG Toys, Toddler Supply House. Um, he likes Leave It to Beaver. Hey, what do you, you give, do you put on a clown suit and invite kids over to your house? <laughs> I'm not going any further. 
<laughs> All right. So anyway, thanks for subbing Pop Art Productions. And you know what? I'm going to turn around and sub right back, right this very minute. Here we go. I'm hitting the subscriber button. I'm subbing back. And sorry, Tony, I didn't turn around and sub right back. Oh, what the heck? I'll go. I'm feeling it's Christmas. I'm going to sub back. I just watched some video, though, about cheater uh, people on YouTube that are unscrupulous. They'll sub to anybody just so they'll have somebody turn around and sub to them. And some people that are boasting of all their, uh, all their subscribers, um, take a look if they'll, if they'll show you how many people they subscribe to. And in many cases, the number is fairly equal. I have about a 50-50 ratio. I can't turn around and sub back to everybody that subbed to me. And in fact, there's a few people that I did knuckle under who said, sub to me and I'll sub back. Or uh, they sub to me and they're like, hey, did you sub back to me yet? And you know what? I'm going to go through and glean you off my list. I think I will. Because I don't like playing that game. But I was naive and I went along with it or is in a good mood. So let's see. I am... All right, Tony. You know, I have a good feeling about Tony. I like those kind of blogs, and I like what you're talking about. So I'm not subbing to you just flippantly. But I kind of felt I owed Popeye a sub back. Don't ask me why. <laughs> not after what he did to me. I have to show that I'm a good sport, eh? Yeah, underground. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm really hiding my angry. My angry. I'm really hiding my anger, you know? It's sort of like it's sort of like you thought, oh, we're just gonna get so pissed off and everything, and then uh, and then we didn't. And man, you used to be my friend. What happened? What happened to you, Underground? Cheers. Here's to you. I'm hoping you're having a good Christmas. I kind of said to uh, one person that you've become my Lex Luthor. You know how like they started out friends, and then, but you you're trying to stir up so much trouble. And you know what? I mean, it's kind of like if I have some new friends and you don't get along with them and you go like set fire to their mailbox and stuff, it doesn't make me look good. And then you're kind of going after me too. I don't know. Go figure. Hmm. And some of you don't care. And that's all right. You watch Fez and I for other reasons. So, Pop Art Productions, Darth Ganji. Now, I went to go leave a comment on his page, but I was blocked because I'm not his friend yet. So, I sent him a private message, and he sent me one right back. And he's in Ireland, and he seems like a good guy. A lot of his videos are all music videos, and uh, which is cool. He's got Radiohead, which I love, Silver Chair, very cool, Incubus, love them, Silver Chair, Led Zeppelin. And uh, I'll have to go back and look at him. And then I started watching this Nerd Fighter Power, and it's some type of a um, charity that he was uh, helping out. I just kind of skimmed it. I'll have to go back and give it give a better look. But welcome aboard, Darth Ganji. And let's see, he doesn't put his real name here, but he's in Ireland. And his profile pic in here, he looks like a cool dude. All right, man. And we're almost through this, this wonderful part where I thank my subs. And if you sub to me <laughs> and you watch Fez Night, I'll read your name and I'll look at your screen profile. Oh.